Hello and welcome back to Whiskey Wars. My name is Sean and tonight we'll be reviewing Smoke Wagon Small Batch. Let's get into it. All right, here is our bottle for this evening, Smoke Wagon Small Batch. I know this is a bottle that is loved by many, and if nothing else, it's got to be one of the coolest bottles on the shelf. I mean, look at this beautiful bottle. Let's just let's just show that thing off there. Man, all the artwork on the glass, and then just this beautiful label here. Uh, you got the, the guns there, guns on top. Very Western. Just reminds you of the Old West. You could picture this possibly, although probably not as fancy of a label, but a, a nice bottle like this being on the, you know, the back of a bar in an old Western saloon. I could see that happening. All right, so this does come out of Nevada, sort of. All right, let's look for the fine print here. Of course, it says produced, bottled, and aged by Nevada H and C Distilling Company, Las Vegas, Nevada. So you think, well, that's got to be the end of it, right? No, because in the, under under that small print, distilled in Indiana. So this is another MGP product. Nothing wrong with that, but just good to know where your bourbon's coming from. So about this bottle. First off, I really like the guy that runs the place. His name escapes me right now. I will probably put it at the bottom since my brain isn't working right now. I will Google later. But one thing's for sure, and that is that he wears a proper hat. So for that reason alone, I think this has got to be a great bottle. So let's go ahead and get some poured here. And uh, let's see all about it. A little running down the side there. First off, even on that just little drip there, that was pretty good. So let's go ahead and get into the nose of this thing and see what we get. We got any nice legs going on here? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at it, just those thick oily legs running down the glass. Very nice, very nice. All right, now the nose and a little, pretty, pretty good color there, nice amber. Hope that's coming through on the camera. Yeah. Ooh, very nice, prominent nose. Don't have to search for it. There's that uh, that kind of bubblegum note that I usually get on MGP stuff. That's definitely showing up here. Like a nice uh, cinnamon forward bubblegum, uh, sweeter smelling than like Big Red. Also getting a really nice caramel note on the nose. Nice, uh, getting almost like a, there's a brown sugar, obviously. But also like a little hint of a, like a coffee note. Maybe like a toffee as well. I, t I gotta say, some darker notes than I usually get on MGP. Of course, that cinnamon for sure there. Little pepper notes coming through. There's a hint of like a mint coolingness kind of thing going on. Not so much like just the effervescence. I guess you might say, of mint is uh, happening in the glass. Yeah, all in all, pretty nice nose. Uh, looking forward to what it tastes like. Here we go, first sip. Well, so this thing is definitely like cinnamon bubble gum on the palate as well, and a really nice version of that. So very sweet, uh, very cinnamon forward, nice spice going on there. There's also some black pepper, uh, definitely getting some caramel in there. Uh, Brown sugar is more subdued, not a ton of brown sugar showing up there, but there is some. There's also a really nice like vanilla kind of creaminess to it. Very viscous, uh, this pour. Uh, really enjoyed that. Uh, you know, also there's uh, there's a really nice kind of toasted oak, some charred notes uh, going on with that as well. Really nice combination of flavors going on in this glass. Let's go in for one more sip here. Focus on that finish and uh, see what else we can get. Man, so the, the finish in the palette is almost the same. It's just that the finish is more cinnamon forward, so it gets uh, more cinnamon, and but it's a really sweet cinnamon, so it's just a lot of spicy cinnamon going on. There's a little black pepper going on in the finish as well. Nice charred oak notes showing up there. Nice toasty oak notes. So excellent finish in my opinion. Uh, I can see why this bottle is sought after. I would say one of the better MGP products 
in the price range. Now, you know, this bottle could have made it into our best under 40, but it's not always available under 40. In fact, in a lot of areas, it's not. I actually paid 50 for this bottle, uh, you know, and mainly because it's, it's hard to find any smoke wagon out here in Kentucky. It's becoming more available, but a lot of stores don't carry it. So I was happy to get this for 50, and I don't think that, uh, I really, my feelings aren't really hurt at all. I think it's worth 50 if you gotta pay $10 more. This is one of the few MGP products that I think I would overpay for. If, like if I saw it again, I would probably pay 50 again. I think the small batch is worth that. I probably wouldn't go higher than that. That's kind of my cutoff, but anyway, let's get to rating this thing. And I will rate it at SRP or, you know, what it kind of is most of the time. So you can have this bottle for 40 bucks. So that's what we'll rate it at, a $40 bottle. And so in that price range, there is some strong competition still. You know, we just went through our best under 40. So there's all those that are less than 40 that this bottle has to compete with, as well as, you know, the bottles that are in the $40 to $50 price range. And there's some great bottles there as well. So is this bottle above average? And, uh, you know, I think it is. I think especially for an MGP product, this is a wonderful version of that. So if you really enjoy that profile, I think this is certainly a buy. Um, as for a rating, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to go 7.2. Um, I think it's above average. I don't think it's amazing by any means, but certainly a good pour, especially if you've never had it worth a buy. Um, and also how great is this bottle? I mean, just the bottle itself is awesome. Uh, once this thing is empty, I will probably use it as a decanter or something, put just some other nonsense in it and uh, continue to enjoy having this bottle on my shelf. Anyway, folks, if you enjoyed the review, then please hit that like button so YouTube knows you'd like the thing. And then also, folks, if you want to see more reviews from me, then here is more reviews from us. And here's the subscribe button right here, so do that. And until next time, folks, just remember, you can never have too much good whiskey.